With the iProgram card in place and the control switch in remote, we know that the iProgram card overrides all of these functions. No access to timbre, pitch, modulation, frequency. And let's take a look at the envelope generator. This has a quick attack and a long decay. I have no access to that. But I've been starting to program the iProgram app in the iPad while in both mode. So by taking a basic patch like this and then flipping to both, I can start to get more options. Let's look at the envelope generator. In both, now I can control the decay. Indeed, I'm not getting the full range, but I am getting a range that does give me a lot of flexibility. And of course, I can go into sustain now. And now I have access to anything I want. I have uh, pressure going to the speed of the pulser, which is uh, uh, set up to change the random voltage. And with a flip of a switch, of course, I'm back to my original sound on the iProgram card. Just a thought. Try programming the app while in both mode. Okay.